It's Haley! Haley, stop moving around, you ready? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Stay tight, stay. Stop moving backwards! I'm trying to squat! I'm dying! Haley, let me squat! Haley, lean on me, lean on me, lean on me. There we go. <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh my god! My legs went in. So we're having a party tonight, or a cookout, for Kayla's team for the end of the year. And we were in charge of bringing desserts. So we need softball rice crispy treats. They look so cute. Today is Kayla's softball cookout for the end of the year, and we're going to it. That's why we made the softball, softball rice crispy treats. Crispy treats. <laughs> And we're heading there now. It's supposed to be super fun. We're gonna have a parents or adults versus the girls softball game as well. So we're on the way there now. What you doing? Getting people to sign Kayla's face. We have two people so far. See. So this is the coach's gift. One of the coach's gift that we're getting them. So we got this picture, and it's gonna go in the picture frame. I'll show you when we're finished. And then all the girls are gonna sign around Kayla the outside Stone. on the mat. Be uh, you can hardly even see, but. It's Brianna, and what? And then we also got them this photo album. Yearbook? With all the pictures from the season. And then yeah. we also, they also got duffel bags with their names on it, which is gonna be really cute too. I brought one back and put it in the coat closet. You want a hot dog? <laughs> Grab one. <laughs> For some of your parents that didn't go to Europeans, uh, we played our, our, our well, I don't have a shirt. We, we played our Falcons off on Thursday and Friday. <laughs> Uh, we beat the we beat the eventual champions 12-6, and the game wasn't even as close as the score. Uh, yeah. It, it ended after five innings because of time limit, but uh, we came out. They scored two of the first. This was the uh, pool play. We'd already won both games, and I thought, you know, it doesn't matter whether we win this game or or whether we take second and we play the number one. But we and the girls showed us that they were they they wanted to play and play every game, and uh, we they. Uh, Man, we came out the door and scored eight runs in the first inning. I'm like, whoa. And then we didn't look back. We just kept hitting the ball. And I think the pitcher was annoyed because uh, she thought she was good enough that she could beat us by herself. And uh, we, hit, we hit the ball. I, mean, I think we had 12 hits in that game and only had four errors or five errors. And they had four errors and, and uh, showed us what we could do. And then the next day, I'm People thinking, were talking. People who never saw you guys play were just like, wow, that seems pretty amazing. Kayla doesn't care. She's mad they didn't win to the championship. Everyone started. Everyone started coming. She said. Okay, Bob. She's still heated about it. I just kept telling her to play, make the ordinary play. That was the hardest thing all year long is for us to remember that they're very young. Most of our infield were four sophomores. And I want you to remember that next year. Um, she came into our program last year, right? And that one was playing shortstop. And she goes, I'm a shortstop. And I go, that's okay, move to second. And, 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 you know, halfway through the year, they would switch in the middle of the game. I go, what are you guys doing? She goes, and the older one said, well, she needs to learn how to play for next year. And so uh, they, they, they are best friends after a year. And that one played shortstop. That one started out second base. And of course, any second baseman, you know, we try to train them to get quicker and move over to the next spot. Because playing shortstop is not easy. Because 40% of the ball is probably going to be hit to you. You're going to handle the ball more than anybody. So when you have 18 errors or 23 errors, you have to look at the number of chances that you have with the ball. 
because the second baseman might get four balls a game. The third baseman might get five. You're going to get 18 because you're in the middle. And most people try to put the ball in the middle. So you're going to have more errors, and that, that's what she complained about all year. How do I stop the errors? I said, you can't because you're handling the ball 18 times a game. You play 23 games. You're going to handle the ball 250 times. If you only have 23 errors, that means less than 10% of the times you made an error. She goes, that's too high. What are you going to work at? But she did a fantastic job for us. And I told her, don't worry about the errors. Make up when you hit, the, hit, hit with the bat. And what's your batting average this year? 522. So one every two times she batted, she put the ball in play and got on base. And that's pretty impressive. And we, you know, I didn't yell at her as much about the errors because, like I said, if you get the ball hit to you 15 to 18 times, you're going to be a great player not to make a mistake because you're handling the ball so much. Not only are you feeling it, but you got to decide which base to put it to, and then you got to throw it to that base. And then you got to hope that somebody catches it and puts a tag on somebody. So I thought she did a very good job. Uh, not afraid to get dirty. Not afraid, no. Uh, there were a couple times that we saw her just take off and sprint, and I'm going, where's she going? And she dives for a ball that's like six foot behind the pitcher. And I'm going, whoa, she did that at Europeans in the she ball. Played every position. Yeah, she played the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, so my question is, who's going to fill her shoes? All right, so uh, we hate to say goodbye to Kayla because she's played two years in our program, but I, I don't think she's done playing softball. I hope she's not. What? So we'll see what happens after that. Yeah. Okay. Nice job. Thank you. Yeah. The ladies have been named to the old region team. Ooh, Ooh. wow, nice. Um, I, uh, you can't, you can nominate your players, but you can't vote for them. And all three of them got the other five coaches to vote for them. So they're unanimous all region. And they're only, they're only this, these three are three of 13 that represents our region. We're talking about K-Town, we're talking about Ramstein, we're talking about Beast we're talking about uh, Hornfels, and we're talking about us, and who's the other team? That is. Two guards. Two guards. Two guards. So, uh, us and Ramstein are the only two teams that had three. Nice. So, that's pretty impressive that these three, and I, I you know, you know Reed being a freshman, usually coaches don't, mean eh, that's a freshman, get a big head, or wait till she's a sophomore. But all five coaches thought she was the best pitcher, and I'm thinking, well, Ramstein can't vote for theirs. Cape Town can't vote for theirs, and Stuttgart can't vote for theirs, so she's pretty, pretty good shooting. You had to have four votes of the five, because there's six coaches, but I couldn't vote for mine. You have to have four of the five votes. All these girls got all votes from the other team, so they're unanimous all weekend. So give them a big hand. Yeah. They were supposed to receive the plaques, or we were supposed to receive the plaques at the end of the tournament, but I guess they're in the mail now, so they should be here soon before one leaves, so uh, nice job, please. Now, I will elevate those three names because you have to make all region or you have to make all tournament to be eligible to be called All Europe and coaches vote on you. So, those three girls, will, I will send their name on up and their stats on up to uh, the Athletic Director of Europe and then she'll get a little committee together and they'll go through all the stats and all the packets and decide who the top 12 ball players are in Europe and then the next, the second team will be the next 12 ball players. So it'll be a pretty impressive considering there's 22 teams that play softball. I only come up with 24 names. So and these two young ladies made all tournament. So, <laughs> Taylor was only one of two ball players that hit the ball out of the ballpark. The other one was the first baseman for Lincoln. Oh. So uh, she hit it at the Ramstein Field and she hit it at the Cape Town Field. Cooper, I'll tell you the reason Cooper made it is um, they always give you a, a, a ballot and they say, who's the two players from your team that made a difference in this game? And then you have to vote for two people from the other team that made a difference in the game. You're, when you vote for your two, they only get one point. When you vote for the other players, they get two points. So somebody else had to recognize these two besides me, and I didn't recognize these two every game. Two were named to the all, all, all tournament team, so congratulations. And the last one is, you know, you call it most valuable, but probably your most important player on the field. And our most valuable, important player on the field, 2018, 
Of course, she's all region, she's all all tournament, and that's Kayla. She doesn't get she doesn't get I played my top off to show you how she you on, you can talk to you. So we wanted to thank you, we got you on <laughs> so we are um, the parents team. Come on, Cooper! Oh, that's the wrong team. I'm like, Cooper, quit cheating. No, no. There we go. Hey, come on, home room right here, babe. Let's go. I got it. I got it. Watch yourself. Yeah, let's go inside. that out a little bit but <laughs> oh if you like our video oh, I think I heard my give, it, give it a thumbs up and Something don't, don't forget to subscribe bye <laughs>